I recently participated in a research project with the sort of questionable acronym ICARUS. <laughs> this, this project was about cognitive biases, reasons that people are systematically, predictably wrong in their judgments. We're looking at the brain mechanisms of cognitive biases, and I became convinced that I was looking at the single most important effect that psychology has ever discovered. Although, of course, in retrospect, I have to admit I could very well be biased. <laughs> this effect goes by the title motivated reasoning, and it's our tendency to believe what we want instead of what is true, what the evidence truly suggests. It has a lot of overlap with um, confirmation bias, but they're not exactly the same thing. Very close. The first thing that I thought made this an extremely important effect is that it's huge. We're looking at a 40% difference, a 40% difference in accuracy on a simple problem based on political party preference. <laughs> Secondly, this effect does not decrease for well-informed, well-educated, or even contemplative people. The smarter you are, the more ways you have to fool yourself. And as I started to think about this more deeply, I felt my own belief system starting to crumble. Things that I had believed since an early age started to seem questionable to me again. I no longer know whether gun control is a particularly good idea. And I started to think that this is a huge factor in what is wrong with the world, that intelligent people disagree for understandable and preventable reasons, and that downstream from that, that causes the wars, economic disasters, and global warming crisis that we're facing. And essentially, the problem here is that we as a species, human beings, are not as smart as we would like to think we are. <laughs> it seems easy to arrive at the answers, but it's not, because every decision and every tiny sub-decision about what evidence to pay attention to is biased by our emotional preferences. Now, I don't want to give the impression that it's too hard to reach the truth, that we need to accept relativism, that everybody's as right as everybody else. In fact, just the opposite. I think if we understand how difficult to reach the truth it is, that we can actually take it more seriously. We can see the truth as something that is out there, uh, but looks different depending on the perspective you're taking on it, which evidence you're considering. So how would we overcome this bias? Um, overcoming it requires understanding where it comes from, and essentially what I think is going on in terms of brain mechanisms, it's a, we're using an old brain to solve new problems. We're using a hunter-gatherer brain to decide whether we believe in global warming. And the basic mammalian brain is making its decisions based on reward payoffs. And that applies to where I'm foraging today, and it also applies on what article I'm going to read next or take seriously. And in particular, um, it involves our tribal loyalties, because what's extremely important in a hunter-gatherer culture is who our friends are. So we're terribly biased to agree with our friends. So how to overcome this? Well, here's our favorite smart guy telling us he's actually no smarter than any of the rest of us. He just applies a different method and one that takes more time. And it does take more time to consider your opinions carefully enough to overcome these biases. First is admitting in advance that we can make huge mistakes, that problems may seem simple, but they're a lot harder than they appear. We're biased to think we're getting the right answer when we're not. So the trick here is looking at both sides of uh, any question and trying to adopt the perspective that someone who is emotionally attached to the opposite conclusion would take, because we're all emotionally attached. And when you do that, I think we can get back to a perspective that's actually much more positive in which disagreement is a good thing. It's not an indicator of our values being completely different. It's simply that finding the truth is a lot harder than we give it credit for. And when you take this attitude, you don't need to see people who disagree with you as part of the dark side. And instead, we can look at the process, the very difficult process of coming to the truth as one that is achievable and, and shooting for unity instead of divisiveness. <laughs>